The bear spread strategy involves two put positions typically. So there will be a long put position with a higher strike and there will be a short put position at a lower strike price. So the payoff diagram will look like this. We have the spot price at expiration. So in this case, here, this is the point where you buy the put option and then there is the upside and of course after the lower strike price your profit will be capped at this point so there will be a maximum profit there's a point of maximum uh, break even price and this is the point of maximum loss now consider two put options on the stock they're selling for $53. One put has an exercise price of $49 and is selling for $4. The other put has an exercise price of $60 and is selling for $10. Both puts expire at the same time and you implement a bear spread strategy. So calculate the value of the position at expiration and the profit under the following outcomes. If the price of the stock at expiration is $70, $57 and $40. So let's construct the portfolio. So first, we'll have a long put position at the higher strike of $60. Then we'll have a short put position at the lower strike of $49. So in this case, at time zero, the value of or the price of the option okay, is $10. So we buy it, so it's an asset. And then for the short put, okay, we sell. So of course there's a liability. So that's negative $4. So the initial value of the bear spread strategy is $6. Now fast forward when the option expires, under scenario A, the spot price of the stock is 70. So in this case, for both put options, it cannot be exercised because the spot price is higher than the strike prices. So that's zero. So the value of the bear spread strategy is zero. So the profit or the gain to of the portfolio is a change in the value. So zero minus six. So it's a loss of six dollars. Now for scenario B, if the spot price is 57. So in this case, the long put can be exercised. So the payoff will be 60 minus 57. You will receive three dollars and the short put cannot be exercised in this case. So the value of the best spread strategy is 3. So in this case, your gain will be $3 minus the initial value 6. So you will have a loss of $3. And lastly, for scenario C, if the spot price is $40, then in this case, both options can be exercised. So for the long put, the payoff is 60 minus 40, that's 20. And for the short put, the payoff is 49 minus 40 so you but take note that here you short so you it's a liability you have to pay nine dollars so net the value of the bear spread strategy is eleven dollars so the gain in this case is a difference in the value so your gain here is five dollars for the best spread strategy the profit is maximum when the spot price is below the lower strike price of 49 dollars so if we take Let's say a price, for example, if I take uh, $10 or $20 maybe, for example, I can even take zero, anything lower than 49. So both of the put options can be exercised. So for the long put, the payoff is 60 minus 20, so I get 40. And for the short put, the payoff is 49, the strike minus the spot price. And of course, we short, so that's a negative there. So that's negative 29. So it still comes back to $11. So the change in the value, okay, will be your gain. So that's 11 minus 6, so that's $5. So that's our maximum profit. The loss is maximum when the spot price is higher than the upper strike price of $60. So if you take a price that's higher than that, so for example, I'll take 80. Okay, so let's say if the price is $80 both options anyway wouldn't be able uh, wouldn't be in the money so you cannot exercise them so both are zero so the value of the bear spread strategy is zero so the gain here will be zero minus six so that's a maximum loss of six dollars now lastly for the break-even price which is at this point here i'll call it s sub b 
So at, that, at this point, only the long put option can be exercised and the short put cannot be exercised. So in this case, uh, let's assume that this spot price is now S sub B. Okay, so only the long put is exercised, can be exercised so that the payoff is 60 minus S sub B. The short put cannot be exercised because the price is higher than the strike. So the value of the bear spread will be 60 minus S sub B. So the gain will be the change in the value. So that's 60 minus S sub B minus the initial value of 6. And by definition, gain should be 0 if the price is at the break-even point. So if this is the case, if you calculate this amount, so this will be $54. Okay, so your break-even price is 54 so of course, if you substitute it back, we can find out that if let's say the price is $54, okay, the payoff of the long put would be 60 minus 54, that's $6. Short put is not exercised. So the value of the uh, bear spread strategy is $6. So the change in the value will be zero. So that's the break even, that validates the break even price.